ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel for yet another video apologies for not posting in a while we've had a drought of content but we finally have stuff here with this brand new armory operation type type thing with a bunch of new skins new collections new stickers a new case new weapon charms finally being added to the game so let's just jump into things and have a little look at everything that is on offer so first of all we have this desert eagle heat treated it's kind of like a case hardened it's kind of like a darker version of a case hardened this is a limited edition item so investors keep an eye on this i'm not sure what this means by limited edition compared to the rest of the operation items but we move anyway looks kind of nice we're gonna have to see all the patterns for it a number one pattern of this could go for a lot in the future but up next we have these things these little goofy these little goofy key charms so starting off we have the little ava charm the pinch o salt charm the hot sauce little sass and if you look they're all they're all sausages as well you can see it like the bottom there quite interesting the little cross i quite like this one the big kev we have chicken lil that's bananas little whiskers i think this one and this one little sandy could be popular with china so keep an eye on these ones little squatch okay little teacup this will look nice with a uh, AK inheritance. Lil Monster from Overpass. The Diamond Dog. The Dinner Dog. The Hot Howl. I think this is the best one out of all of them. I think this will probably be the most expensive one as well. This one looks crazy. And then we have the Hot Worst as well, which looks kind of interesting. Now, up next, we also have these other weapon charms that aren't sausages. We have the Baby AK. We have the stitch loaded, the little cap gun, the pocket op, pretty cool, the backsplash, the whittle, whittle knife. I think this one is very, very nice. The pop art, I think this is very sick. Glamour shot, also very, very nice. Die cast AK, quite nice as well. The disco Mac. Hot hands, titanium op, the little squirt, semi precious. This one I think is very, very nice. And then baby carrot CT and baby carrot T as the red items. And these I think could be overlooked and could be good investment opportunities in the future. Now let's go on to our first collection. We have the overpass collection. This is very, very sick. We have the Midnight Paint Over for a 5.7. Kind of cool, a little bit mid though. We have the Wash Me on the P90, bit mid. The Neon Squeezer, mid. The Wash Me Please on the M4A1S. Quite nice, if I say so myself. This is very nice. We have the Desert Eagle Tilted. The Negev Wallbang, kind of mid. The Galil Metallic Squeezer. Yeah, I quite like this. I quite like this. It's like a default Galil that's been spray painted on. We have the MAC-10 Pipsqueak. I love this MAC-10. Very, very cool. We have the Nova Worst Hula. Let me know if I pronounced that right. As you can see, there's a little hot dog on it. Quite cool. We have the Teal Graph. Pretty mid. We have Sweet Little Angels. I think this is a very nice skin as well. We have... Monster Melt on the XM. The Eye of Zapens. That's quite colourful. Nice little skin. Not too bad. This is probably one of the best skins out of the whole update. The Op Crackout. I think this skin looks absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. We have the Dragon Snore as well. We finally got another Zeus skin. So I might be looking at picking up one of these at some point. We have AKB the Monster. Quite a cool AK. It's basically the the overpass B monster, that graffiti with a little gold on it. Very, very nice. And that is that collection. Up next, we have the graphic collection. So we have the spectrogram on the 
MT, uh, MT49, who cares? The halftone whirl, mm, kind of the same, not that great. Halftone wash on the FAMAS, a little bit better, we're getting there. The Astrolabe, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, bit mid, these skins are a bit mid so far. This is nice. The Galil Envy, yeah, that, that's nice with the green on it. The patterns, I quite like that. The Coral half tone, that's okay as well, not too bad. The Wild Berry on the Scar 20, okay. The Berry Gel Coat on the SG. This collection, I think, overall is a little bit mid, but this right here, the AK Crossfade, this is a nice AK. I quite like this AK here. We have the XM Halftone Shift, not bad. The CZ Slammon, okay. Not too bad, if I say so myself. Sorry if I sound a little bit strange, I'm a little bit sick at the moment, but new operation type update, we move anyway. We have the P90 Attack Vector. I actually think this is quite nice as well. And another fantastic skin, the M4A4 Poly Soup. This could be a nice little investment, M4A4. It changes color as well, very, very nice. The Desert Eagle Star Arcade. It kind of reminds me of the Riptide Desert Eagle. I forget the name of it, but very, very colorful, quite nice. The Little Pig, <laughs> Og, not too bad. And the red is an op. We have the op, uh, CMYK or... I'm <laughs> not sure how to pronounce that. It's it's quite an interesting one. I mean, it has a little grey circle in it. Let's see just what, what it's like to hold it. I don't know. I'm not a massive fan of this op, but it is a red op skin in a limited time collection. So we move. This is probably the best collection out of all of them. It is the sport and field collection. So we have the Safana Halftone. Kind of nice, not too bad. The Tiger uh, Stencil, okay, not too bad. The Half Sleeve, not too bad. The Olive Polycam on the AK, I think this is a bit bad to be honest. It kind of looks battle scarred even though this one is like a factory new one. We have the PP Bison Cold Cell, uh, kind of bad. The Wild Ward, I think this actually looks quite nice on the Mag 7. <coughs> Excuse me. Up next, we have the SG Zeno. This one looks absolutely amazing. With the silver, the blue. This is probably one of the best SGs in the game at the moment. Fantastic skin. The small game. It's kind of whatever. P250. The Nova Yorkshire. Kind of whatever. A bit basic. The Alpine Camo. It's kind of nice. It's like a mixture between a bright water and like a purple version of the bright water. Okay. We have another heat traded, this time on the 5.7. So now we have a 5.7 case hardened and a 5.7 heat traded. I'll probably make another video about heat traded skins and just how they work because I'm not entirely sure. But up next we have the Arctic, Arctic Tree Tone. This is a fantastic MP9. Probably one of the best MP9s in the whole game. I can see this going for a lot. <clears throat> we have the UMP45 Crimson Foil. Just like red and silver on it, quite nice. The Khalil Rainbow Spoon, very, very colorful, very reflective. Purple, green, blue, fantastic. We have the Glock Axia, it's like a glitter blue on it and then kind of a shiny bit on top. And in my opinion, the best skin out of the whole update, the M4 A1S Fade. My God, this skin looks absolutely amazing. You already know we're going to have 100% fade percentages on this skin. If you can get 100% fade out of this in a red operation collection sort of skin, my god, is this going to go for a lot in the future. So I'll be opening some of this collection for sure. Um, we have the case here. Let's have a little look at the case. So we have the USB 027. Kind of cool. The Cali Graffiti on the Desert Eagle, bit mid, MP5, SD Statics, not too bad. The Lux Trim, oh, I think this is nice. This could be a nice little cheap 
cheap skin, but the Hypnosis, not too bad. This is actually a skin that I reviewed in one of my videos. I don't think it was called the Tango, but it's great to see that the creator of the skin has got it into the game. Very, very nice revolver skin. We have the, uh, the Scar 20 Trailblazer. Very clean. M4A4 Turbine. I'm not a massive fan of this. To be honest, it's a bit too brown for my liking. We have the Dual Pareto's, Pareto's Hydro Strike. AKA the Water Guns. Kind of nice. Not too bad. The Saber Oni. For the Mac 10. Oh, it's, it's kind of like the Oni Taji in a way. I quite like that. I have an Oni Taji up, so this could match it. I quite like this Mac 10. We have the P90 Randy Rush. Nah, that's cool. I, li I like this skin. I like this P90. We have the SG Rapid Transit. This looks very clean as well. Another fantastic. SG skin and if you look here it's kind of like a train station like a, a layout of tr of train tracks very cool we have the AK-47 the outsiders with a bunch of characters on a bus that's cool this is a very cool AK I like that we have the P-250 epicenter kind of mid kind of cool oh we have another neo noir skin in the game the UMP neo noir very interesting we have the Glock Gold Tooth, okay, kind of interesting, not not amazing, but, and then, oh my days, this might be the best skin in the whole update, the M4A1S Vaporwave, this skin looks crazy, nah, this skin looks crazy, nah, that, and then we also have the Kukri Knives, and I believe it's the same um, patterns as before. So nothing special there. We also just have some stickers. The Bolt Strike, a Bolt Charge. These are all just papers, nothing special. This is, I believe, this rainbow one over here is the only hollow out of all of these ones. So keep an eye on this rainbow one. And then we also have lenticular stickers at the bottom with the Ruby Stream and also the Wave. Kind of cool. I won't be spending my stars on this anyway and then we also have more stickers here i'll just go over the cool ones at the end the red shades foil the gold teeth foil the, this goofy lenticular and this lenticular as well so overall a big update and a big dub in my opinion from valve it's a shame that we didn't get any new maps or anything it's not really a full-on operation but we got a lot of new skins and yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of investment guides and new videos for these skins anyway. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. And also, I'm going to be doing another giveaway soon that I will be announcing. So if you want to get involved, just comment down below, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.